Hello there and welcome back to Sorry Get to P for the PSP or A Biscuit P for the PSP. Hello there, Chagu. That's her official name, but I forgot to say it. But she is the AI of them um, for the Professor's Professor Laboratory, just so you know. Obviously, obviously she would have got a re rename rename them um, in the in the English version, so that's to be expected from them. Um, when when they're bringing something from 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 Japan over to America, they usually try to localize it. It's like the trauma center games where they where they say where they say it's in it's um in in, in America, but it's quite clearly Japan. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this this well this um I've probably said it before, but this is um the series that's that's going along alongside um all the Puyo Puyo games that I'm, that I'm co commentating with Escape with. So it's quite. It's always fun to do them. And a little update on that. Um, I have I have recorded Fever, Fever and Fever Two, so I'm ready to do them. And I've got Dies well ready, so I just need just need to wait for him, and when he's ready, and he just got stuck in the ground. <laughs> anyway, this is um what is the American version is called Oceana. Um, I probably mentioned it last time, but. Uh, if you can tell by the name, you're going to be swimming a lot. It's basically the labyrinth, the, the sort of labyrinth zone from um, Sonic 1 for Ape Escape. That's like the best thing I can I can describe it as. And usually when monkeys monkeys are in the are in um, the the water, they kind of help. They're most they're likely helpless. Apart from that one that was guiding the. Then the um, the the um, hammerhead shark. That was obviously the hammerhead shark could bite back. Anyway, I now know it. Uh, okay, but the but you can actually press the R button when I'm um, swimming to swim up faster, so you can get up a lot faster, obviously. Anyway, um, as, as you probably noticed, I, I was um, putting up the putting up the um, the cutscenes for the game from the PS1 version. I am lucky that um, my hapage in um, my hog pog doesn't um, doesn't um, doesn't completely negate um, the PS1 um, on the PS2, so I can so I can play so I can play the game. Then um, when a cutscene comes up, I can I can record it. So. If I remember correctly, in this part there's no there's no cutscenes. The um the trigger, if I remember correctly, it's um part part five part five. If I remember correctly, has one. Anyway, this this section is actually made a lot easier when you have the Skyflyer um gadget um gadget which you don't which you don't get till um <laughs> um anyway. And um, you don't get that till the um, next world, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it is the next world. Which um, makes this, this section a lot, a lot easier, but um, as you can see from here, as you can see from the gameplay here, I can actually make it here because... Well, yeah, I can't make it, I just didn't double jump there, so it is possible to get there. Yeah. It's a real shame that I can't do the PS1 version without using the horrible, the horrible um, American dub, like the original game. Because um, I, like most people, will admit that, that dub is horrible. With, as, as I've probably mentioned, the problem with um, Saragetsu P or Apescape P or Apescape on the loose. Jeez, this game had some had loads of titles. Obviously, two of them are almost the same. Just it just depends on which region you come from. But they, but um, they escape on loose. I get I get what they're going for because um, most of the PSP remakes for the PSP had um had little subtitles to them. Like if I remember correctly, the the um, the medieval medieval remake um, on the PSP for, from the PlayStation One is called Mez. Medieval res Resurrected. Ugh. 
And obviously, 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 the original game was just called Medieval, not Resurrected. And unlike this, um, added new things to it, but it did more than this did anyway. See, there we go. I figured it out fine. I never noticed that before. You could actually see him um, a radar, a radar on them, um, the on the Aquanet. Of, I think uh, there probably would have been something there. But anyway, um, I don't think I mentioned it, but um, the but the Sarus or the monkeys in this game, they actually use some of the, the idle animations from later games, like um, like um, the monkey dance that was introduced in it. Well, they did it in the opening to the original game, but they didn't. And actually have it as an animation if I remember correctly. And there we go. But anyway, the monkey, um, monkey was actually doing the, the dance, the version of the dance that they do in um, in Escape Three, which I have let's played. And of course, the 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 UK version is the better version. But it's weird. I've never seen anybody do the the Japanese version of Ape Escape Three. I mean, it's, it's always the the British version of the horrible, horrible American version. I mean, who, who in the right mind thought it was a great idea to call the call the main characters K and Yumi? And that horrible, that horrible one more, one more. You know, it's it's not it's not like I, I went over it before in um in my um in my let's play, but it doesn't sound as good as good as Gotcha. Got to uh, uh, one left. If um, there was one, literally one left to catch. And with this, even though this sour has a yellow, has a yellow, um, a yellow light on his, um, on his, um, on his helmet, he doesn't actually do anything. He's he's just stunned there for the whole time, so you can catch him and not have enough trouble as I did. You said it. You said it, Kakuru. Anyway, um, I think usually with the games, um, unless it's two, skip the American version. Because I mean, um, the American version of two actually did something cool. They actually, they actually hired um, hired um, people at um, four kids to do the dubbing. So like, you got like the regulars for them. So for instance, you got um, this, the original voice of Ash doing Jimmy in it, or or Hikaru. Dexter's Island, I remember that, I remember this level. Hello there, Chabu. Again. <laughs> Capture six monkeys. There's eleven monkeys there's eleven monkeys in this in this in this um, level and um three three spectre coins. I'll admit Dexter looks a lot better in this than this than the than the original version because his teeth in the original version was literally it was literally just a just um, 2D image, image put onto it. Thank you, goodbye. Anyway, that's the, the game. The, the, I've I've um, seen a little bit of the of the American version of two, and the, the dubbing's all right. It's not like the original one, but they actually tried to change stuff. You know, they actually, they actually kept, kept it the same, same as in terms of dialogue and that, you know, I didn't, didn't notice much that had been changed. I mean, I did notice that, for some reason, the subtitles in um, 2 in the UK version, which is quite cool, they just been translated from the Japanese version. Um, they, they, this, 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 there's a um, few dialogues and lines that have been changed. I'm not sure if that's because of the American, not the very, because of the, because of the, the Japanese version that was just like a little um, mistrans, well not mistranslation, but miswriting of um, what, what they're actually meaning to say. Or it, it just, um, or they used, or they used um, a 
use one of the original um, takes of them. The, the the recordings of it. Not much music in this level, is there? That will change when we get into Dexter. That's this is where the whole level takes place. That's why it's called Dexter's Island, and not that Dexter's Laboratory. And then I reminded of the Dexter's Laboratory, <laughs> the laboratory um, opening. Yes, it's in that show. And again, I don't think I ever want to see it again. And if that, that down there looks dangerous, it's not. You can actually, um, you can actually, um, obviously swim in it as you can see right here. This was changed. In the original version, it wasn't actually a, actually um, a red monkey, it was a white monkey. Which, um, I think, I think, and this is officially, Officially, the game's introduction introducing you to the red monkeys, which in this game aren't just aren't just the power the, the power freaks. Um, they're also they they usually heavily equipped with the guns and bombs, as you see in there. These go a lot faster than um, the PS1 version, as you can see. Not sure if that's because of them um, because I'm using the emulator to to record this, or it's it is like that in the in the version, in the version, in the version that um, that you can get, that you can buy in shops and that, and pan and properly. In fact, do they still sell PSP games in, in game or Game Center anymore? I know in Game Center you can get, you can get, you can get PSP uh, pre-owned PSP games, but I don't know about the um, new PSP games. I think it's just Vita now. It's unfortunate we're, we're going into an age where digital downloads are becoming more and more frequent. Like, um, uh, the newest game I'm um, coming out today, actually, um, by, by um, Nintendo, Tomodachi Life. You can act. Was it today? It was either today or, today or yesterday. Um, but I was checked on the P um, so on the on the Nintendo um, eShop, and you could already buy it for thirty four pound, which is not. Which is not bad considering, considering Nintendo's usual pricing on them. Because usually in shops it's about, about forty pound. And because I, I always pre ordered pre ordered like the bet like games um, like the most recent one. If um, if I get if I if I have enough money at the time, um, I will buy it like um, Smash 4, I can't wait for that. Yeah, I'm surprised um, places also as Battle Royale didn't sell as well. Cause I know that um, I know that they, they had um, Hikaru, uh, sorry, Kakaru in this. Now Kakaru in it, which makes sense because obviously he is a PlayStation All Star because he's had well, he's technically only been about three games: one, one in the main series, two in two not. Um, that's um, um and so um, Saru. Um, Saru um, so we get you in um, 2001, what else, um, the Apescape Pumpkin Crimes, and Million Monkeys as well. Get you in, thank you. Two of them. I'm so, I'm so used to Apescape with them, with them being able to get out, out away from the net. I think obviously, I think at this point I actually had came right from the first one when I recorded this. So obviously I was familiar with them um, with how the original um, feels like. I, I like that how, how, <coughs> how the floor moves them um, along along with it. Like it looks like it's actual real real life tissue. Anyway, one and um, that's basically the same here. From here on out, it's a uh, it's a one way trip, so you can't get back up after you after you go down here. I forgot how funny these funny these things sound. Now I've got a question question to ask you. <clears throat> what game would you like to see? 
see me do next after um, this. Would you like me to do, would you like me to do the corpse party game? I think I, could, I think um, it's quite I don't know if um, there's any more of corpse party two out yet. Unfortunately, it's it's only in Japanese, so <clears throat> so obviously there's a big language barrier there. I can I can understand with their um, dialogue can understand what them what they're saying because I've watched so many subs. It's not even funny. You know, I mean, it's, I mean, I was able to get through Pokemon, Pokemon um, in one piece. That should be, it should be fine to do um, to do um, to do another. Well, the first one it is translated, so I can easily get. Anyway, this is that thing right there is the white, the white thing. That is another one of those. Um, it's like the monitor um, in Inspector's big reveal. Um, Inspector's big reveal um, cutscene. Um, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be moving, but for some reason this ROM doesn't like to do it. But you know, it's it's not it's not like it, it's unplayable. I can't can't um, play it. And then um, another thing I've noticed is that the is that the monkey count for this was a lot higher in the original version. Because um, I, I seem I do remember this um, that so remember that um, obviously there's two monkeys here. That means that um, if I catch them two, that's um, that's a level over. In the original version, in the original version, there was actually um, once you um, if you if you did what I did and then um, caught all them, caught all the monkeys up to the up to now, then they would then they'd have um, about two more to catch, give or take, if I remember correctly. Okay. When did they get so? When... I like um, the fact that um, then um, to one of the one of the gadgets literally uses the exact same cursor because of the the sling sling. Slingshot uses just them um, that um, I'm not spoiling because I will eventually do Ape Escape too. I don't know if I'll do it with somebody or or um, do it by myself. That door would have usually opened if I had if I'd got both of them. Those ripple effects look quite nice. I've just noticed. I've just noticed that the ripple effects look quite nice. So I, I do feel like doing doing cross party next. <laughs> um, after the same, um, and after um, obviously the Puyo Puyo games. So no, at one point I'll need to get on um, get on um, recording fifteenth anniversary. That's gonna that's gonna be a marathon. Saying that Fever 2 was a, was a marathon as well. And with that I will be seeing you for the next part of Ape Escape P. I shall see you then.